Hi everyone, welcome to Scrapbooking with Fairy to you. Um, first of all, I must uh, say sorry for yesterday. I start um, very well the video and then at the very end it stopped and I couldn't get returned. So it stopped in the end of the, the, the class. So it's not a big deal, but it ends very well, very bad actually. But I want to show you how the, um, the first mini album we do yesterday, it's all, uh, I finish it when the video stops. I finish it anyway. And it's not so much, so difficult to be, uh, finish it in the home. Uh, I want to show you how it comes together. Okay, so just a minute. So there is it. Today quite not good this camera view I think it's better I don't know maybe I have this over here probably good like this so I finished it last um, as I say I didn't have a magnetic uh, closer to put in here so I have this to do and uh, we finished this together and we have finished to put the, uh, these in here and all of that the only thing that I do I put all the the laces yes in here in all of the envelopes so they all have in here so we just show you how it's come together okay there is it and I put in the this pocket we created over here. I put uh, um, a tag. This is a tag I used. This is recycled paper and it has kind of the embossing style. So I put this in here. I can give you measurements to this. So let me just see. Oh. So it's seven and a half by four. Okay, seven and a half by four, and it gets here very well. And then I cut some tags to put in this pocket that is the um, the inches, right? And these tags is very they are very small. You can do it bigger. And I have four, I think, by three and a half. Yes, three and a half is good. You can make uh, a little longer, so maybe I think five or five and a half will be five and a half. I think it will be too long. Five it will be good. Four is what mine has. Okay, so four it is, and I make another tag to put inside the the envelopes we create this little thing. The tags I cut. The, um, the tag it's four by five and three cutters, two corners, I think. And I put a, a, a lace in here, okay, and some pattern paper, right? And it's go right inside the envelope. And here is hole I want to show you, and in this. That we made the double side pocket. I put two tags, these tags, these are in recycled paper too. They are different. Okay, and they has three and a half, I think by six and a half, uh, six and a half, three and a half by six and a half. Okay, these are the two uh, tags that I put in here. Okay, so one go from one side and another on the other side. And that's all I want to tell you about the purse. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna put my purse over here. Oh, I forgot. If you want to make um, a thing to, to hold the purse, so the purse will be closed, and like the clutch, okay, they have here a thing you, you put in your hand and then you grab it like this, and there's a thing in your hand. Okay, you can make it just like we make this. Okay, you can make one 
and you punch a hole uh, in here right um, against the, the mini album okay on the, the score mark right you, you punch a hole and then you make a little thing to hold the um, the purse okay that's all I want to told you about this now about the mini album we are going to make today uh, I'm gonna make it with you and it's kind of a different mini album I'm gonna use again the wax cardstock and I chose uh, these papers I want to show you but I don't know how to do it yeah I think that's good not too much good so let's okay now we have a great right right so I chose some papers I chose this for the cover okay and then this for the back I think they go well together I like this I don't have two sheets of this so I choose this one to go with this so this I'm gonna put um, on the side so I can't use them okay so I'm gonna put them over there and then I choose some reds and some greens uh, papers to use okay there they are I choose this one because I want to do, uh, use this one on the um, tags we have these two this is a little bit lighter this with some circles and again this one okay so this is the papers I choose we are not going to use them now, so I'm going to put them over there. And then I choose the black paper. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the inches to the um, to the album. The reason why I'm going to first cut the, the inches is because uh, we are going to need to attach the pages and then close the pocket. Okay? You first build a page, and then another page, then you get them together, and then you close the, the pocket, the pockets of those two pages, and then you repeat this process over and over and over again. Okay? So that's the reason why I decide to cut this first. So I have a few pieces over here, but you're gonna need, uh, let me see, I think I have six pages. Yes, I have six pages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we will need seven. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, they have. They need to have two inches by seven and a half. I'm just gonna check out if I can use these little pieces I have here. I think I can. I'm just making sure this I can. This I can. So I have this and I have this to be in it. I think. So I'm just getting my paper trimmer. That is it. So two by seven and a half. I'm gonna cut this by seven and a half. I'm doing all of this mini album with you. The problem, okay, we are not finished then today, so. But I wanna do it anyway today. And we're gonna finish it on the next class, will be on Wednesday, okay? So I have two. Another one. So 
So his album will be with a lot of uh, with lots of um, what do I want to say to you? Oh, with lots of let's just see if I can do it with lots of pockets. Okay, so. I think it will be a great album. I imagined this album last night and I decided to create to make it today. So two six, make another one. If it won't be enough, we have paper over there to make it. And then we're gonna make some scars on that inch. Scoreboard, and we're gonna score at seven and seven eight inch of an inch, and then one and one eighth of an inch. So seven and eight, then one and eight. Okay. These inches will not be. Visual, visual to the in the album, they will be covered. Okay, that's the reason why we are going, we are making them now. The seven. I don't know. It's not eleven. It's seven. That's killing me. So we have six pages. Just let me uh, just do this. Yeah, we only need seven. I didn't mistake myself. I'm gonna let this over here because we're gonna need that in a few. So let you just. Reinforce the scores, okay? I normally left the inches to be seen, but since I do this all the time, I decided to make them invisible the eye just have them functionally of of the inch so that's why right. that's the reason why we are gonna make this album we have another idea of making inches okay. Now we're gonna apply some scar tape right now. Just applying one tape on each side. Four, this will be five, six, 
to this one and then seven. Okay, that's it. You can put them now on the sides. You use them in a few. So, for the first page of this mini album, we are going to need. Uh, I'm going to cut them now. I think. So, we are going to need two pieces of cardstock. That measures eight and a half by eleven. So we're gonna cut them now. We're gonna need two of those. One for the first page and one for the far page. So see the cardstock. One two pieces of cardstock. There we go. There we go. So eleven. By eight and a half. And I'm gonna put this here, and I wanna write in here that this will be the first page. Just to I know what I'm doing. Then another one that measure eight and eight and a half by eleven. I always said 11 first and then 8 and a half. I don't know why. So, and this will be the first page. And then for the second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth page, the sixth page, yes, will be 8. By eleven. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so eight by eleven. This will be the second page. This will be the third. This will be the fifth page, page number five, and then for page number six. Okay, so six, and now we can put this on the side. We got not gonna need them now. This I can put the garbage. I think I bring my I bring my garbage. So let me put over here. Just make this up. Okay, so now we're gonna need our scarf boards. Okay. On the the one it's gonna be our first page. This one first. Second, third, fourth, fifth. So the one it's gonna be our first page measures eight and a half by eleven. And you're gonna scarf on the eleven side at 
five and a half, so it's going to be at the middle, right? And then we're going to rotate to the eight and a half inches, and we're going to score at a half inch on each side, so a half inch and eight inches, right? Right. So that's it for the first page. Then we're gonna reinforce the score marks, okay? Just like this, and like this, and then like this, and like this, and in the middle. Right? Right. So, and then we're gonna bring our craft knife over here, and we're gonna take on our uh, so right left on our left size so this size of these pages we're gonna take um this flap okay and this flap so just like this I'm gonna cut here and over here and the help of my ruler I'm gonna take it just like this and this size too Okay, so we are left with this, okay, and this. We are going to apply some score tape over here, okay, but first, no, we can apply it now. Okay. We're going to apply our score tape over here and our score tape in the flap on the bottom in the scoring position so just like this and over here and then you're gonna take the, the little triangles I used to take on the flaps see that triangle I always take them I probably am confusing you with all this okay and then we take the the scar tape over here and over here right just making this up and we're gonna glue it and we have created our first page of our mini album just reinforce the scores Okay, and we have created. But I I want to this pocket to be divided in two pockets. So I find the middle. So this is sorry. So it will be three and three quarters. I think it's three and three quarters. Yes, three and three corners over here. Let me just check out. Yes. And I'm gonna apply a few, just a tiny bit of glue, wet glue. Just, yeah. Just a little bit over there, inside. I don't put too much, you see? And just a spot. Of glue and then I glue it just like this. Take excess and this will create two pockets. I put that glue too much. A little bit. Okay. So let me just 
yeah. and we have create two pockets okay now we're going to attach the um, the inches we've made we're going to attach one in here right now okay and the other one on the back okay you can take the triangles here too okay Just gonna glue it. Okay. So, and then this will be attached on our um, cover page. Okay. And then on the back, we're gonna attach another one. Just taking the triangles over here, the corners. Over here, and I'm gonna attach another one in the back. So, this is my back, right? Okay, so we have our first page of our mini album that has two pockets in here. So, this page is very simple to make. Now, I'm gonna put this on the side. For our second page, that will be a little bit different. I've used something. Yeah. I'm always using something. I don't know why. <laughs> a mess. Uh, so you have our first pages, right? That measures 8 by 11. Okay? Gonna on our scoreboard. Oh, there's what I was missing. Okay, on the eleven side, we're gonna score at five and a half again. So it's the middle. And on the other side, we're gonna score at a half inch. On one side. Okay, just one side. That side will be our bottom. We we'll need the score bar again for this. But first, let me just reinforce the scores. Okay, reinforce them. Just like this. And then, now, what I want you to do, I want you I'm probably missing something, but not, that's not a problem. I want you to take this from here. But first, before we do that, I want to make some scores on your, uh, right, on your left side of this. Okay, so in this part, we want to make some scores. To make those scores, there is a secret. There is no secret. Okay. Uh, it's like this. So, on the side, you're going to put the, the side is, that has not the flap. So, the flap is over here. Okay. And what you want to, to do, you're going to score at three and three cutters corners okay just to the middle okay just to over here right right and then you want to score at four and a corner over here and then and four and three corners just like this okay You're gonna be left with, um, I don't think you can see them, but you're gonna left with three scores just on this side, 
to this side to be at our uh, left hand side okay and the help of your craft knife and your ruler you can use the scissors you're gonna cut the middle score so the score that is in the four and a corner so position it there my light is not good for me okay and you cut just like this and you're gonna take the flap above of it okay I'm taking the flap over here um, just you just cover because I need to wipe this too and yes you take the flap I'm gonna show you what I'm doing okay Mm, I just oops, I forgot. We need to cut in here too. And over here. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing right now. Okay, so that's how this page work. We have the eleven by eight. We score at the middle at five and a half, and then on the bottom we score at uh, half an inch. We take the flap from our left side, and we are leaving with this flap on the right side. On the left side we score this at three and three cutters, and then in, uh, four and uh, one. Cutter, and then four and three corners, right? So, and then we cut the middle one, and then we make a little cut in here so it can the flaps can be we can open the flaps just like this, okay? Then we're gonna take the triangles from here, from these flaps, and take the triangles. Okay, and from here too, we are going to apply some score tape now, but we're not going to, to apply them. In this flap, you want to apply the score tape in the way that we can then um, glue this, uh, this page over here. So, you want to Cut the tape over here, just like this. So I'm gonna put the tape. There's the tape. The tape over here, right? And then you're gonna apply tape over here. Okay, and this flap over here. I'm gonna show you where. And in the way then when we glue it, we're gonna glue it inside. Okay, so tape over here. And the other flap we're gonna do the exactly same thing. So the glue the tape is gonna be on the inside faces. Okay, so just like this. Before we glue all of this, I told you that we need to first attach the inches. So, with this open and this open too, just like this, we're going to attach the inches of the first page we create over here. Right over here. And then we're gonna glue all of this. Okay? 
so we can be left with this thing. So let's glue this. Remove the tape. And I want to attach that. So we won't be able to see the inches in the end of it. Okay, so now we remove this tape over here. And then this tape, the bottom tape. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I told you something very wrong. Yeah, I told you something very wrong. So let me try to make this <laughs> in the right position. On the bottom pocket we're going to create, we want the, the tape of this flap inside, okay? So I want to put the tape inside. I, I want to explain you what I'm saying. So I put the tape over here. Okay. And I don't want to put the tape on over here. I want to put it on inside because I want to this be glued just like this. Okay. Just to, we have a double cut sock over. Okay. So let me just apply this tape in the right position. So there is it on the right position. So the bottom part, the bottom pocket, you want to tape inside. So when you take it, let me try to take it. Yes. We glue the, the little flap inside, just like this. Okay. okay. Let me just turn this to my side. And you want to apply a few glue, just a tiny bit of glue, in this side, just a tiny bit, see where I apply it, and we want to glue this from here. So, on this way, we create a pocket that open. So well, I think I mistake something. Yeah. Don't glue it. I'm sorry. I'm always forgotten something. I'm not doing this now. Because we want to create something <laughs> cute over here. I'm always forgotten. I'm not gluing this now. I'm just gluing this uh, when we have paper over here. Okay? Just gluing this mess. Okay. No. Nope. Sorry. This is why it takes making a new album. You can glue this, not the the front the the pocket. This pocket you can glue it. This one you can glue it. Sorry. So, no problem. Problem resolved. And now, in here, we want to uh, glue it right now. But you can see that we have a pocket here. Okay. We not glue it for one reason. We want to cover this first. And then, we want to glue it. And you're going to create a little punch in here with a piece just like this, something like this. You're, not, you're going to create a punch with a piece of cardstock and then you're going to glue it um, before we close the pocket. So lift the pocket like this. Okay? Okay, so this is for now. It's good. Now it's good. Yes? 
Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna uh, attach another inch over here on this side, on the back side, um, like this. Just attach it. Okay. We have another inch over here, and I forgot to take the triangles. Not a problem. Yeah. Okay, so we have now two pages, one and two pages. For the third page, let me put this on the side. From the third page, it's almost like the, the other one we make now. So, it's 8 by 11 again. You want to score at the middle, so our middle is five and a half, right? Right on the eleven side, and on the eight side you want to score at half an inch. Okay, just like this, and remember we do some scores from our left side. So, we're going to score them again. And the scores we're going to make now is 1, 2, here, so 1 corner, just to the middle part. Uh, remember the flap we create is on the right uh, side. And we're gonna score at the left side, okay? So one corner, three and a half, just to the middle, right here. Then at four, and then at four on the corner. Just like this. So the side with the scores is on our uh, left side, and the side with no scores is on our, is on our um, left side. So we're gonna cut in here. We're gonna take the flat from our uh, right side. Just like this. Okay, so we don't have a flap on our right side, and we're gonna cut right where we. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Right where we score in the middle, so it's at four inches. Right. Make a cut. And then I cut this side so like this, so we can have the flaps like this, right? And in here too, we have this little one. And in here, just like so. So the process is actually almost the same, okay? You want to attach this over here and this over here. Okay, just want to reinforce this course. Just like we do on the other page, with, but with another measurement. Okay, so that's what we are going to be left. Okay, and don't forget that we want to first attach the, the other page in here first. So let me do it.
like this, okay, and then not now. <laughs> We're gonna attach this just like this. And let me think a little bit. Hmm. We're gonna create pockets um, here, one pocket over here, and another pocket over here. Okay, we're not gonna attach them now because we want to cover this first. Okay, we're just doing the pages, but we can put some score tape. Yes, we can put some score tape. So, on the bottom flap, we want to put score tape on the scoring position. Um, the other we want to put from inside, and we can go with this one right over now. I just want to take the axis from over here, so let me do it. Use my flat knife, I have it right over here. Just taking the excess of tape. I'm actually going to use this to put over here, just like this. And then on the other flap over here, we're going to put the scoring tape, the, the tape on the scoring position. Okay. Okay. We can remove this one. You can remove the tape from the up side of the pocket so we can glue it just inside. See, I just be left with these two flaps that I'm gonna glue just like this and just like this, but not now. <laughs> On the far page, just like the first page we made. So it has uh, 8.5 by 11. So it's 8.5 by 11. You want to score it at 5.5. And, and then on the 8.5 side, at half an inch. And then at 8 inches. Okay? Just like that, we want to reinforce the scores, just like this, just like this, over here too, and in the middle. And what you want to do is you want to take, make a cut in here, in the middle, on the flaps, and you want to take uh, this two flaps the help of your ruler okay. and then you will have a pocket just like this, you can close it right now. So you apply tape on the scoring position on the flaps, just like this. You can take the triangles from over here and from over here. So you can take the corners on the um, from the flaps. And you can glue it. You just try to take over this. Okay. And over here. And we can glue it and close this pocket just like this. And we will not make 
like we do in the first page. In the first page, we put a little bit of glue in here and we close it to make two pockets. And in this in this case, I want to be um, a big pocket, so we are not going to glue it. And we want to attach some inches. We want to take the triangles from the inches. Like this. My table is already a mess. And you want to do one from here. And the other one in this pocket we create now. So right over here. Okay. See, we have created now four pages or different pages, and we can attach an in an inches. Oh, I'm always forgotten to take the triangles. Okay. I'm gonna attach these inches on the back side of the pocket we create now. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna make the the page number five and just put this on the garbage. We don't have too much garbage inside my table over my table. Putting okay. these over here so I can recycle these papers. Here, mm. okay, so page number five. What we're gonna do, we're gonna the page number five is eight by eleven again, and just like we did on the other one. Oh no. This is different, I'm sorry. We want to to score at five and a corner, five and one corner. And we're gonna rotate to over there, or you can score then at uh, ten and a half, just scoring this not much, okay? So five and a corner and then a ten and a half and then you're gonna rotate that and you're gonna score a half an inch on the eight inch side okay and you can do it on the on the page number five and in the page number six they they have the same configuration but they are going to be different okay so um Five and a corner, and then a ten and a half, and then an half an inch on the eight side. Okay. We want to reinforce these course marks Just like this. I'm doing exactly the same thing on this one. Okay. Now we want to we want to take that flap that over here. So just this flat, you want to take it, you want to be with it, so just like this. And over here, we're going to take some triangles, and a triangle over here, 
and the triangle over here. Okay, so we can create a pocket here. Okay, we're gonna have a pocket over here. Just like this. Okay, we can make the pocket right now so we can put some tape in this coin position on the flaps, on two flaps. And from this to be here. And over here too. Just like this. Then I can take it. I to take it with the help of my craft knife. I cut my nails. So I don't have nails. And difficult to take scar tape without nails. Okay. And then we just do like this. Okay. So we have a pocket over here. See? And we can attach this to over here. With the pocket on the right side, don't forget it. So that's the only thing this page is gonna have. Gonna have, and on this one we're gonna make the exactly same thing. Okay, we're gonna take this flap out. The help of my ruler. Okay, mm, I'm taking the triangles uh, but I first apply some tape now I can take the triangles I'm doing the exact same thing I did in the Page number five. I'm gonna take the tape, Ooh. nails, just like this. And just like this and Another inch triangles again. I'm gonna make and I'm gonna attach this pocket over here. Just like this. Okay, so we have the pages from the album. So it has six pages. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Okay. And then one put the other inches. Over here. And we actually gonna start to decorate because these pages, and uh, this one is gonna have a cascade. I don't know is that English at all, but it's gonna have some pages over here, some pockets. In this side is gonna have some pockets, and this side is gonna have some cascades. Okay, and but first we're gonna decorate first. So we are going to start with our first page. Then we're going to proceed to the other one.
I'm just cleaning again my table. Okay, so now I want to decide uh, what we're going to put in here, right? And I don't need my scoreboard for now. For now. <laughs> and I'm going to choose some papers. I have the papers over here, I don't think you can see them. Okay. I don't want to start with something very wild. So I want something soft to begin. Or maybe not. I think I'm gonna start with this one. And then First, we need. Oh my God, this today is not working very well for my light. Yeah, I can put the light better. Let me just drop something over here. That's better. Okay, so we're gonna start to decorate this page. I'm just picking some paper and then I'm gonna make some decorations on the end. So this has uh, five and a half so we're gonna cut five and one corner and it's seven and a half two, seven and a corner to five and a corner first and second. So we're gonna need two of those. My paper trim over here. I'm gonna make a cut first. That's five. Oh, I need to take this. Think. Over here, I need to take this. And then five. In the corner, this is over here, to seven and a corner. I'm gonna need two. So five and a corner. Seven and a count. So this is what we're gonna need now. I'm actually gonna take the the corners from over here with my uh, shish cut border corners. The small one. And I want to make some distress action with my distress ink, the vintage photo from Himmels. Just a little bit, not too much, just to give a nice border. Mm, 
subtraction up from this one too. Here, and over here, and then I'm gonna glue them one over here. Okay, and I just wanna take a little thing from here where I left, and I well, don't want this here, some tape. Just remove it. I try to remove. Okay. Then I can glue it. I'm gonna glue it with wet glue, but you can use tape too. I make an album just with tape. Was great, so you can use that. Just glue this over here, just centering it. Good center. I'm gonna pass my foam over over the paper, so it can be glue very well. It is done this page, then I'm gonna apply this paper the same way I did it the other one. So apply some glue Centering the paper and then I'm gonna pass my bone forward. Over here. Then I pass my fingers so I can take the excess of glue. Okay, so there's my first page. And now I want to put some paper here and then I can glue this and I can decorate here. But first I need to make something for over here that I I said you need to make and I didn't make yet. And I'm just taking off this. I don't like it right now. So what we wanna make, we wanna make some borders to create between here and over and over here. I think it's here. Yeah. Over here and over here. Okay. And to create that you're gonna need some pieces of cardstock that measures one need to measure one and a corner by five and a half and the other one needs to measure three by five and a half so we're gonna need two of those and paper here so I'm gonna use this paper actually I'm gonna use this one so uh, five and a half and cut it and a half yes Five and a half, and one is by one and a corner. This, this, you see, this has one and a corner. 
and pass so we can get to the food here. When the color, okay. No, it's not one in the corner. Yes, it is. Sorry. One in the corner, just like this piece of paper. Cut stuff, and then another one by three. So three. So five and a half by three. And the one that has um, one on the corner, we're going to score it at a half an inch. Okay, so half an inch will be. In this big part, you make a punch. And in the other one, we're going to score it at one inch. In this part, make a punch. Easy, just like that. I haven't decided which punch I'm gonna use. I'm just picking, I'm just gonna pick one of my punch. Excuse me for a minute. I will be back. I will use the Tonic Studio, but it falls. It's not going to create. Oh, it's so empty. This is not going to create a punch, but a design. Okay. But it crea can create a, a punch, a border. It's just so many pieces of papers over here. Oh God. I'm using this so much. Okay. Now it's good. Now I have a lot of it over here. And I'm gonna make these just like this. I just want to make one so I can see. It's like that I want to use it. Okay, so let me just see if this can work. Yeah, it will work. I'm just seeing. If I can make this, yeah, that's what I'm gonna create. Okay, I don't think you can see it, but there's two punches and there's a place in here. I don't think I can make more places. I can make it more on the border. I'm gonna try if I can see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make this last one. It's more of more uh, in the um, right over here. I don't know if I if I can make just like uh, in there. I'm gonna try it. I need to try it like this. I'm gonna make. No, I can't because it's gonna cut the flower. So I'm gonna use the third line.
this is a nice investment this this thing I'm using because it has so much punch and they are so cheap so and they create nice punches I'm cutting well with it so I only have two these flowers and another one I will buy some more maybe next month I'm making a mistake over here. Why? Oh, this one. Let me see. I can correct myself. I don't think I'm gonna. Nope. I need to make another one of these. <laughs> I mistake myself. Okay, so I need to make another one. It's not the size. This one has the size, so it was three by five and a half. So I can just cut five and a half by three. That is it. And I want to cut it at one inch. I'm just creating the, the little thing I make wrong. Just make this harder. And this punch is something very good. I can make punch in cardstock. I have so, a few of them, but I can make punch in cardstock. That makes me furious because of that. So that's it. We have the punches. Just like this and one like this. And now was working on the second page and we need to pay, put some paper over here just a tiny bit of paper so two inches by five and a half will be enough so two inches by five and a half I'm using I don't know if this has five and a half let's see Not like this too. I'm just oh, using the same paper I use. This is garbage. Seven and a half by two is enough. I just want to make some from this dress in these places will be enough because this this will be in here. So 
see that's where we're going to glue it. I'm going to glue it with some wet glue. And now we can close this pocket over here. Oops. It's also with um, wet glue too. Okay, so I'm just closing this pocket. Need to wait a few minutes. Seconds. We're doing it. Okay. Then we want to cut five and a half by five and a half by two and three cutters piece of paper. Let's measure what I say. Five and a half by two and three three cutters. So I'm going to choose another paper. My cut stuff now. And I think I'm gonna use this one like this. Let me show you. I'm gonna use this. Just taking this white thing. And you wanna use this way, so five and a half. By two and three corners, and you can cut. No, you cannot cut. So I'm gonna take the 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 corners. I'm taking. You cannot take it, or you can make a different corner. I'm gonna make some distress action over here. This pocket. See how it's gonna be beautiful. I need to think a little more in this album because I created yesterday night. So why that's why I'm so exigent in some things. It's not a big deal. Just taking the blue over here, the excess of blue. Okay. So there's a pocket right over here. See a pocket? And now on this pocket, we're going to make something different. We are going to make kind of a triangle thing. See, I create a triangle over here. That will give you a pocket. 
Now I want to put some pattern paper over here, over here, and over here. And then you're gonna glue it in the end. Then you want to glue these things so, but not now. And so we're gonna take a piece of cardstock. It's gonna measure a piece of pattern paper for by three and three quarters. So four by three and three quarters. And I'm gonna choose this paper I use in here. Okay. So four by three and three quarters. I'm gonna make some distress action. So can, as you can see, I'm cutting paper, I'm going paper, I'm cutting paper, I'm going paper. That's the, the best way we can make this album. Okay, so I can't make any mistakes. As you can see, I didn't take the colors, the colors from this one. Okay, just glue it, so and and glue it, glue it, just like this. See, just like this. Some glue over here. Okay. This is in white. The right position. That's it. So there is it. Right? And now we want to take the tape from here. No, we want to take not. Careful. Don't take it. Don't take it. Uh, now I want to put some pattern paper here and here, and I'm going to choose two different colors for that. I'm going to choose one, this, this one, and let me see, I'm going to use some green. Yeah. I'm going to use these two, and I need measurements, and these can be two by... How do I say three and three corners? So this way, I'm gonna take a piece of two and a piece of by three and three corners. This can make a flower from this. Put it in there, and then we're gonna need. This that measure, I think it's four. No, it's not four. Is gonna be three and three corners. It's not three corners exactly. Is three and five eighths of an inch by three and three corners. Three and five eighths of an inch. I'm gonna cut that now before I forget. So one, two, three, four, five by three and three corners. I forgot to take the white stuff. This piece of white, so I need to take it before I cut. So three and three colors. And then we need to make a triangle from here. Let me see how the triangle must be. Let's take a triangle. Let's take the triangle. I'm gonna use the score and like this. So I have two triangles. So 
it's gonna be like that, this will be here, and we just need to glue it. So this piece is gonna be in here. I need to take a little bit of there. Just gonna I need to take a little bit from over there. I need to take this little triangle over here. So just take it. Now I can do it. Oh, I need to make some distress action and I need to take the comments just on these two sizes. I'm going to make some distress action over here. I can go back. I'm going to put it on the, on that, on the place it's going to be. So, it's going to be over here. And over here, just like this. Perfect. Now I can go this triangle. You can create a pocket from here. I don't want to create a pocket from here, so I'm applying some glue over here and over here and over here and over the middle. So I can close this thing, this triangle pocket, just like this. See how it's coming together? And now I want to glue this triangle. Just checking if is it okay. I think it is. Let me just choose one of those. I want this. I want some distress action over here. Just like this. I want to glue it. Now I put so much glue, it's going to come out all over the place not going to be a problem so this make sure it's centered on my knees ok so there's my page coming together see how oh, it's coming beautiful so it's going to create a pocket over here and now, what I want to, we want to attach the the little inch we create. It's for one and um, one corner by five and a half, and then make a punch on the biggest size. See, and we are going to attach it. Just like this. See? But first, we need to cut this piece over here. It has uh, accents. You can put some um, rainbow or something like this in here. Okay? I'm gonna put this. Um, that's right. I w I'm gonna use the tape that is in here. I'm going to take it, the help of my craft knife, just like this, and I'm going to make sure it's in place. Yes, it is. It is.
is in place. And then I'm gonna take the excess with my scissors. Look like this. See? That's a perfect corner over here. Okay. And then we need to apply some tape over here so we can close the, the pocket. So I need to put some tape. Take this excess from here. Remove the tape. And close the pocket. And now I'm going to close this because this is not yet glued, and I'm going to use some of this glue. You can use um, tape. I'm using this wet glue. See? And this is not finished yet, this page, because we need to touch the biggest one. over here okay but you just in this part of the project you just need to glue in here not on the back side okay so just like I did in the, the other one just putting some glue in here and then glue it just like this And that's our page completed. So we have a pocket here and a pocket over here. See? Easy. It takes a little long, but as soon as you get the, the stages of this page, you do it just well. And now we're gonna make put some paper over here and then we're gonna attach this over here so we can create pocket in here. Okay? Let's do it. So just like in the other cases, we're gonna need some paper that measures. So it's five and a half by seven and a half. Don't need seven and a half, but okay. Five and a half by seven and a half, and I'm gonna use a different paper so we can create something beautiful. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this paper. Okay. So we need. I'm gonna put my garbage here in my table so I can be putting something over there. So five and a half. So this is five and a half. By seven and a half. And we can cut now the to the pocket over here. Okay? So this is gonna be five and a half by two. And I'm gonna cut in the in this green we use for the triangle. Okay. So what I'm doing is this. So two and 
by five and a half. Get these things over here. This one here. We're gonna take the corners. No, come over here too. We want to make some distress action. Give one too. I'm using a paper that's lighter, so it's not so heavy. But if you use the right glue, you can use this paper, and it's cheaper. In Portugal, it's cheaper. This is a project I'm gonna I'm making to to present in exposition next uh, thirty one from March Mars. So glue it in place right. Yes. And glue over here. And glue it. Now you want to put just a little bit of glue in here and in here, and you can take the corners. I'm gonna try to take the corners. If I can, I will take it. No, no, I can't take it now. You can take the corners if you want. I can take it right now. So, and then you glue it just to form a pocket. We just reinforce this. I cut this too much longer than it was necessary. So let me just take a little bit from here. Okay. That's better. And then I'm gonna glue this little pieces this to over here. So there's the, the back from the second page. So the second page is like this. And this is the first page. We'll make some decorations over here in the end. Okay. Now we're gonna make the third page. The third page, we're gonna make just like we did this page, but we're not gonna put this and we're not, not, not making this triangle over here. I think. Let me just see my notes. Like that. Just making two pockets. Okay. So, two pockets. So, first, we need to put some paper in here. And just like I did in here, I coordinate this paper to this paper. I'm going to coordinate this paper to the paper I'm going to use in here. So, 
going to be that red. This red over here. And this might be five and a half. I think we, we put two in the other one. Yes. Five and a half by two. So five and a half yes, by two. And we didn't take the corners, but we did some distress action on the smaller sizes. Like this. And we can touch it right now. We're gonna glue it just like over here. So we can do, do this. Okay? So let's glue it. Just check, yes. And in this case, we can now uh, close the pockets. Okay, so we move the tape from over here. A little bit of glue in this size, just like this, and we glue it. Just like this, and this side, exactly the same thing in this pocket. So as you can see, this album has multi pockets, pages, and different kind of pages. So just like this and this. Now we want to put some paper in these pockets. Just make sure it's closed. Okay, so that's what we ate, the pocket over here and the pocket over here. So over here. See? Now we're gonna make some I'm gonna shoot some papers. These three and a corner and three and a corner. We're gonna cut two different kinds of papers, two different colors. I'm gonna use like this one and make two. Wow! And I'm gonna I want two um, lighters. So I'm gonna use this one. And what? And this one. Yeah. Just check if this is five and a half. Probably don't have. Yeah. So five and a half. This is it good for flowers. By three and a three cutters. One. Now I'm gonna use this paper. Just taking this white thing over here. So five and a half. By three and three corners. I have music coming from my back, <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the corners, just rounding them. Like this, make some distress action. So 
on the tip. I'm gonna glue it and make three. Because three and the candle, not three and three cutters. I say yes and I cut the one size. So, just like this. I cut the wrong size. It was three and a funnel. Okay. I'm gonna glue this in the place. I want this and this here. So, yeah, glue it. Glue this. I think it's uh, in here, like this. It has letters, so <laughs> you need to make sure the letters are in the right sizes. Okay. That's what we create now. There's a pocket in here and a pocket in here. The top. Okay, so there's a pocket. And there's a pocket. Okay. Now, in this size, we just need to put the paper here, put the paper in here, and another paper in here. So, this is my four page. I'm not going to do this now, so we just we just need to cut um, three pieces of paper that measure five and a half by seven and a half, one, two, and three from over here. And here we do the exactly same thing, a piece over here and another piece over here. And this page, I want to work it now with you. It's going to be kind of different. So, we just need to cut some pieces of um, cardstock. Okay? We're going to need to cut five pieces of cardstock. Two from here, two from this side, and two and three from this here. Okay? So, I just need to cut it right now. I think it's coming a beautiful album. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm thinking that, yes. So, uh, we need to cut. I'm trying to have pieces over here that measure measures and length. This is gray. I think. It's gonna be okay over here. So we need to cut uh, a piece that measures three and a half, okay, by six and one eighth of an inch. So six by one eighth of an inch, and this is not gonna be. Six and one eighth of an inch. That's right. So it's gonna be for another thing. 
is over here. So, and the other one needs to be three. Okay, by six and seven and one inch of an inch. I'm sorry. So one piece is three by uh, three and a half by six and one eighth of an inch, and the other one is three and by six and one eighth of an inch. Okay. This is gonna be from one side, and from the other side, you need to cut. Three pieces. That's gonna measure four by five and one eighth of an inch. Okay, four by that's gonna be four on the right. Fair enough. I think this piece is does not have four right four. We need to use one of these. So we need three pieces that measure four by five again. Um, Four by five and one eighth of an inch. Okay, so that's what we're going to need on these three pieces that measure. Five and one eighth of an inch by four. We are going to score it at half an inch on the four side. Just like this, we create a plan. Okay, we do it on. All three. And on these two, the one that measures three and a half, this one that measures three and a half by six and one eighth of an inch. You are going to score on the three and a half sizes of an inch, and then on the six and one eighth of an inch, a half an inch on both sizes. Okay, and the one that measures three by six and one eighth of an inch on the side that measures. Uh, Six by one eighth of an inch. You're gonna score at half an inch on each size. Just like this. I'm not sure this is. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you you need to do. So we're gonna start with this with the with these two. Okay. And then score this. This will create a pocket and this is going to create another pocket to put over here. See? In here. But first we need to It just measures my height. So I need to put some paper over here. So this is measures uh, perhaps two and a half by five and a half. So two and a half by five and a half, one piece. One is this one. 
Make it be by five and a half. Cash five and a half. By two and a half. And I'm gonna take the corners, like my corner, from just these two sizes, okay? And I'm gonna make some distress action. Just on three sizes, one small and one two small and one big size. And I'm gonna glue it. This is not five and a half. I say five and a half, and I said five and a half. Let me carry it down here. I think it's gonna be it. Right. It needs to be um, five and one panel. Okay. So I'm gonna do it just over here. Like this. And just go in the right position. Just like this. That's what I thought. I have a little bit more cardstock in here. I'm gonna cut it freehand. That's perfect. Okay. Now it's perfect. Just need to make some distressed action over here. So. I do this one, and now the one does not have a flat in here. We're gonna glue it, glue it just over here. Okay, just in here. To do that, we're gonna apply some scar tape in here in the flaps, in the scarring position. We're gonna take the triangles. I'm saying I'm gonna take the triangles. Let's see if I'm gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, I take the triangles from the flaps. When I say take the triangles, is to take the corners, making a triangle. Okay. And I'm gonna take the tape from one side. See where you, where you want to put it and glue the one side only. Okay, one side only. And if you want, you can create a little pocket over here to put some little things over here. But that's not what I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create a big pocket that you're just gonna see these little bits over here. So I'm gonna take. The tape from here, and I'm gonna do it just like this. Okay, it's open on the back, on the bottom side, but it's not a problem because we're gonna attach this one in here. See, and when you do that, you cover the bottom part of the first pocket, but the pocket will go right over here see you can put big stuff over here so now we're gonna decorate this pocket so this pocket is 3 by 5 and I think this is 2 3 by 5 ok so we're gonna need 2 pieces of paper that measures 3 by 5 
this. this. I think these two will be nice. I don't need to take this. So three by five. I can just see this at five. Yes. Yeah. So three. Um, then here three. Not five. And then five. I'm gonna take the corners of it. And then make some distress action. Where's my sponge? Where is it? Make some distress action. And then glue it in the places. Let me just see how I want it to be. It to be just like this. But it's going to be first. The one that I already uh, put up the, the pocket. Okay, so that's it. That's in their place. And then I'm gonna put the this one, but first I need to take the corners from these and apply some tape on the scoring position. Take the excess of tape. Because I don't want the text to be over here. Okay, so let me attach this just above the, the other pocket. So just like this. I'm gonna first pull one side and then the other side. So just like this. See, we have a come on, pocket in here and a pocket over here. And just put this in the place. Just like this. Then you can decorate it with flowers or something like that. Okay? And now from 
the the last page, this one. So we are gonna use this to create a cascade. So we first attach the first one. Okay, so with some square tape on the scoring position. You don't need to take the triangles, so just remove it and attach the, the flap just in over here. I'm going to show you where. Just do it first, just like this. So, just in here, so the flap is low over here. Okay. And then put some paper here, and then glue the other one. Then put some paper and glue the last one. Okay, so it will create a cascade effect. See? Cascade. Cascade, I don't know what I would say in English. This creates this effect. Okay, so we're gonna put some papers in here. I'm gonna cut the green, some green, and it's gonna be uh, five and a half. And I'm gonna, you know, this three and a half. So I think I'm gonna cut two and a half. By five and a half, okay. So the third first the five and a half, and then the two and a half. Then we're gonna make some this last section over here. These little pieces. I'm gonna glue it right where is it where is the um, the flap okay so I will show you in a minute in a minute in a minute I think five and a half was too much so five and a corner Just take the excess. We'll make some mistake over here. Not with the album, with my scissors. So I glue it just above the flap so it can cover the flap. <coughs> Sorry. Now I'm using the other um, the other piece of paper and I'm gonna glue it just above the other paper. So can see just like this, so it's gonna create the effect. And I'm gonna make some distress action over here. Mm -hmm. 
You need to take a little bit from one side. I'm gonna glue it just like I glue the other one right above the um, the flap. So So right above the flap over here, see, and now we're gonna glue the last one, center it with the, the bottom of the page, okay. Let's put some scar tape over here. Remove the tape. Center it with the, the bottom part of the page and then glue it just like this. So we create a cascade effect. Just like this, just like this, and just like this. I'm just cutting a piece to put over here. The green, uh, let's measure three and a half. Okay. Cannot see this one. It's going to be three and a half by five in the corner. Uh, some distress action. I'm going to glue it to cover the, the flap and the cardstock. And that's it. Just reinforce these scars. I didn't reinforce them. See, and we create a cascade effect, and you just need to put some powder paper over here. Okay? Just like this. And that's it. That's the pages. I want to show you how to do it. Okay. That's it. So the first page is just simple and it has two pockets on the side over here. Okay, and then you're gonna make some tags to put in here in the next class. There's the second page. The second page has a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, and then we have this page that has a pocket over here, and this one has a pocket over here and a pocket over here and then this page I probably gonna make some pockets just like these ones over here or maybe something like this um, so we have one two three four five pages that we didn't decorate but this one uh, yes this one you can decorate just with a uh, just like this, okay, the first one, and in this, in this one that has a pocket in this, in here, okay, the pocket is here, you can make some different kind of pages, I don't know, I would say, 
maybe you can do something like this. This is easy to make. You don't need so, too much explanations. Just take measurements and you just attach it here. And another one in here. It's a great idea. I probably will do that. And I probably going to make another page. Okay. I think it's it's too small with these pages. And I'm probably going to make another page. And I'm probably going to make a page just like this one. Okay. So the second one. And I'm going to attach it in the end. Okay. And I will try to this to be in here. Probably not so complicated like that. Okay. So that's it. That's for today. Next class, you're going to make tag. And you're going to make the, the cover. Okay. So. Alright. So I hope you like it. It's kind of a different mini album that, that we create over here. And it has kind of a different configuration. Like I said, I'm going to use the paper with the roses, these roses, and these greens to make the, the cover. Okay. I'm going to make that in next classes. So that's it for today. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know it right now before I finish the class. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes if, so I can see if you have any questions. Okay. I'm just gonna write something over here so I can see if I'm online. Oh, my computer is so, so lazy. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm not logging in the chat. So let me do it in a minute. Okay, login. Let me see. I have three guesses. Probably can't make any question to me. So that's a real problem. Um, that can be a problem. Because if you guess you don't have a nickname, if you have a nickname, you can make any question in the chat. It's quite difficult to talk to me. Okay, but if you have any question, there's my email. It's imperitogil.com. Okay. So that's my email if you have any question about this mini album or construction of it. So it's probably better like this. Because if you guess, you can make me any question. So I think it's. Um, Okay, right now, so we're gonna finish this. Uh, so, see you uh, next Wednesday at probably uh, one and a half hour here in Lisbon. So, I don't know what time it is in United States, probably you're gonna see from there. I don't know what time it's there. It's kind of difficult to me <laughs> to understand that. So that's it. We finished the um, for today the constructing of the mini. I'm gonna show you just again. So there's pockets over here. And there again pockets over here. Ooh, there's something very wrong over here. Oh, it's a clue. I need to make something over there. And um, in here. We need to decorate that and it has the 
the last pages over here. Okay, so it's got the cascade effect. And like I said, I'm gonna make another page uh, by myself <laughs> because I think six pages is not too much. It's kind of wah. So I'm gonna make another page. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna make another page just like this. I know it's a difficult page, but it's so beautiful that I decided that I need to make another one of these. So I think it's so beautiful. There's a pocket over here and another pocket over here. See, so I think it's beautiful and I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna touch it in here. Okay. So that's it for today. So I hope you like it. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know it. You can leave a comment in the video or you can send me an email to imperiotogiu.gmail.com It's my, my email. And you can send me an email if you have any question of this album or other album that I have here in a few streams. Okay, so bye. Thank you for watching.